Hi everyone, um, <laughs> riding home with me. Um, and I, I thought about a story just now. I mean, I was gonna tell you something else, but I, but I thought about this and it has to do with <clears throat> <clears throat> that uh, when I was eight, maybe nine, I had eye surgery. But one thing about that eye surgery was it was actually the second time I have had eye surgery. So I don't know if you've noticed, I think it's hard to miss, but I don't know if you've noticed, but my eyes don't always work together. There's all kinds of phrases and terms, none of them particularly complimentary about this condition, but you know, it's called cross-eyed or lazy eye. Um, but basically what it means is that, that my eyes don't work together. And so sometimes, uh, oh, and by the way, it's the right eye that's the problem. The left eye is perfectly fine. But sometimes I'll be looking at you and it may look like I'm looking at you, looking behind you, or sometimes I'll turn my eyes a certain way and, and the right eye won't be honestly facing the same direction as the left eye. So it doesn't really bother me. I guess it bothered me some when I was a kid because you know sometimes you get teased about it, but I couldn't care less now as an adult. But, uh, but anyhow. Uh, so when I was like six years old, oh, I'm sorry. So when I was born, my right eye, this one here, poor, sad little thing, uh, it turned in toward my nose. I mean, pretty badly. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, like, it's like looked in at my nose all the time, I believe. So when I was maybe six years old, I had surgery on that eye. And basically what they do, if I remember, if I understand correctly, is they go in and they shorten, they, they cut the muscles on the other side, the opposite side of your eye, so that it pulls it back out. Um, and so then, which was, you know, all fine and dandy, I guess, but the problem is that they overdid it. So, <laughs> so, so instead of pointing in, my eye pointed out. Um, so, you know, success. Um, so, so I guess when I was eight or so, maybe nine, I honestly don't remember. You'd have to ask Mama or Janet this. But they, this time, they took me to, to a guy who was, uh, his name was Dr. Galoon. I still remember his name. And, and he was, I, I believe, quite a talented and famous uh, eye surgeon. And so, uh, so, so he did the surgery this time. And what they did, what he did was he went in on, on the other side of my eye and shortened the muscles there to undo the damage that, that they did with the first surgery uh, or the mistake that they had made with the first surgery. And uh, so, so, so yeah, but what I wanted, to, what I remember about this, so, so it's, you know, my eyes, my eye is not bad now. I mean, it's, I mean, it's Lord knows there are some people who have it really badly or have it really bad and, and it's it, and it's it's a shame um, but and also I don't have any scar tissue I've seen people who have had this surgery who have this pink scar tissue that you can see all all the time on their eye and so I'm thankful for that but but again my eyes still don't work together I mean there's no there's no doubt about it I and mean, basically my left eye does all the work and my right eye even though I can see through it and it's and I, it's correctable uh, just like any other eye, I just don't, I just don't use it, uh, except for doing close-up stuff, and that's because of the contacts that I have. Um, but anyway, so, so, what, sorry, hang on, bear with me just a second. So, what I remember about, we had to go to Boise, Idaho, for the surgery, and that was about 35 miles away. And I remember, uh, for some reason or other, um, Mama. <laughs> Mama and Papa didn't stay with me at, in, in the, at the hospital. They like kind of got me checked in and, and uh, got me, you know, like they got me in my little bed, my little hospital bed and, and, and whatever all else. And then they, uh, and then they went back home. I remember Mama, uh, Janet told me about this, um, I don't know, a few months ago, how A, she didn't really quite understand why they had left me there and didn't stay with me. And B, that she feels really bad about it now. But I have to tell you, even now looking back on it, I mean, it didn't occur to me that they needed to stay there with me. I mean, there were nurses and I mean, I don't know. It was fine. But anyway, 
So I remember the, the night before the surgery that they brought me my dinner. I don't remember what my dinner was, but, but I also remember they brought me this orange juice in this little paper cup. And it was like the best orange juice I'd ever had. So I went and asked the nurses for another one and they did. And, and then I did again. And probably about the fourth or fifth time, I think they got irritated with me because I remember feeling like I had annoyed them. Um, but I watched TV. And, uh, and then I fell asleep. And the next morning, I, I remember they, they came and they gave me something. Uh, and they took me down to the surgery room. And then I remember they did the, you know, count back from 100 thing when they put the anesthesia in. And I went right to sleep. And, uh, and, then, I, and then I woke up. And one thing I remember about waking up is that when I had had the first surgery when I was six when I came out of surgery, they had to put an oxygen tent around me and it's because I had, again, they just screwed up that, that first operation because I had like pneumonia or at least a croupy cough from when they, I guess they had, you know, done the, the uh, like a ventilator or whatever, I don't know, but, but, but anyway, so, but this time everything was much better. There was no, there were, I didn't have to be in an oxygen tent. Uh, there was no scarring. I don't remember there being a, a whole ton of pain. I think I had a bandage on my eye for a little while, um, but uh, but anyway, so we we had the sur I had the surgery, and uh, and again I'll have to ask Mama Jenna. I don't even know if I spent the night in the hospital another night or they took me home that same day. What I think is they took me home that same day, but uh, but anyway, it wasn't bad at all, and uh, you know, yeah, our experiences make us who we are. So there you go. Okay, love you.